Hello YouTube, this is 3K Beats here and I just wanted to come on and and show everyone how to uh, hook up their Akai MPD 218 MIDI controller to their, the new MPC Beats software which is free by the way and I'll leave a link uh, in the uh, description below but what, some, what I know a lot of you have been experiencing just as I have with um, the Akai MPD 218 and MPC Beats is when you go in to set it up, once you have everything set up the way the instructions that Akai put out in the hardware, in their hardware manual regarding the MPD 218, you've got to go in uh, into Learn, MIDI Learn, right here. And then you need to select, you need to go into factory, select Akai, and then MPD 218. Then you need to make sure it's enabled. So it'll be probably be off or maybe on, but you just want to make sure that it is enabled, right? And everything should be mapped. The pads should be mapped, and so should the Q links. And these Q links should map to these um, rotary uh, knobs on the controller. So each one of these, except that it's only four for each bank, the first four are mapped. And I'll show you the, how that works in a, in a second. But what I was experiencing when this, when I selected uh, Akai MPD 218 over here, what I was experiencing is when you hit on the pad, one, two, three, four works, four, five, six, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but you see eight, look at what's going on with eight. Eight and 12 are hitting at the same time. But when you hit 12, 12 doesn't hit eight. So that was an issue, and I know people have been experiencing this, and I know there's a, a way to to try to correct that in the editor or even trying to correct that in the editor still doesn't work. Um, some of you are probably thinking, well, how did you get the rotary knobs to work? Because when you choose um, Akai MPD 218 preset mapping preset, it doesn't automatically map the, the Q-Link modes. Well, they are automatically mapped, you just have to turn something on under preferences. So let's go to preferences. So if you go to preferences and you go to MIDI sync, and you know how you need to make sure that your MPD 218 is, is, is listed there? Most of you all will probably see that control is not selected. Control needs to be selected in order for the Q-Links to work or those rotary knobs to work. And I'll show you what I mean. So without the control knob being turned on, if I go to my rotary, if I start rotating these uh, these rotary knobs, you see nothing. nothing's turning over here on the Q-Link. Nothing, right? You see MIDI showing up. There's MIDI data coming through, but none of the Q-Links are turning. So if we go back to edit and then preferences again, we go to MIDI sync and then we turn on the control button here, click OK. Again, make sure that MPD 218 is still enabled. Then we go over here and we'll look, we'll turn the rotary knob one and we'll see now that the program level, volume level is rotating now, is turning. And if I go to the next one, that works. If I go to this one, horizontal scroll, that's working. And so is the horizontal zoom. All right. But only one, two, three, four on bank A are going to be mapped. If I press for bank B, then we'll get this next row. Time correct, time division, swing, and time correct strength. All right. That's on control bank B. I'll go to control bank C, then we'll have the next row. Current track, 
track length, track velocity, and track transpose. Okay, but that's all you'll get. That's all you'll you'll be able to control um, at this point. So that's how you get your your rotaries to work. However, still the problem there's still this problem with the pads, right? I mean, one way that you can you can you know resolve that is to turn off the enable button up here, and then you notice that. Well, it's not working now, but it was working before. But let me see. Let me just turn off the. I'm gonna turn off the control button here. Now I know the rotaries aren't gonna work, so let's see what the pads are gonna do. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the pads now. Let me see. All right, let me bring up another project so I can show you. All right, so let's go shoot, go to preferences and make sure that control is off. And we've got Akai MPD enabled. And let's check the pads now. Okay, so see, now the pads work. As long as control is not on, in preferences, the pads work. They don't double trigger. However, we lose the functionality of the rotaries. Okay, but if we go back to preferences and we want those the rotaries to function again, we go to control. Now they function. We go back to pad um, control bank A. Go back down here. Everything works again. However, if I click on the pads, there's the double trigger again. So, I mean, that's an issue. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Akai knows about it, but I don't know what they're going to do about it. But what we're going to do about it is, I mean, we can either deal with it the way it is, or we can create our own mapping. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you how to map it. And you probably have seen videos on how to do this, but I'm going to just show you real quick. So we'll go here. We'll go under new MIDI map. And under new MIDI map, we'll start with the pads. So we're going to click on the first pad, pad one. And then we're going to, we're going to click learn first, learn. Make sure that pad one is clicked because we're under pads. And then we're going to press pad one. And you notice that a, some information, data information, MIDI information shows up. So we're going to do the rest, all 16 pads the same way. Now all 16 pads are mapped, okay? So let's go to Q links, and we're gonna do the same thing, only we're gonna use all six for each bank, all six knobs we're gonna use. So we're gonna start with the first Q link right here, and we're gonna turn it, go to the second one, turn, third, and so forth. Go to the next bank. Turn that. Turn that. And keep on going. Go to the last bank. Turn that, 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 and that one. So we got 16 Q links all mapped to these six um, rotary knobs. And now that we've Finish that, we can click on learn again. And now we have a new mapping um, title called new MIDI mapping. And that's gonna be under your user file. See, I've already created one. This is mine, but this is the new one we just created. And remember, we're under global as well. So we're not under project, we're under global. So that means that any project past or 
future projects that you create. As long as you're on the global, this mapping is going to affect what we just mapped in each of those projects. So that should work for you all. Um, if you all have any questions on how, well, you know what, let's do this. Let me bring up, let me bring a kit so you all can hear it and see it in action here. I'm not going to really make a beat, but I'm just going to go through the different functions real quick. <laughs> All right, so we're bringing that in. All right, so now we're on the pads. We don't have to be under um, MIDI, this uh, the MIDI learn. We don't have to be under that. Just as, just as long as it's enabled, we can be under any screen. Doesn't matter. So now let's look at these pads. Let's see, are we getting a double trigger? So far, I don't see any double triggering. Okay, so each one of the pads work. All 16 pads are working correctly. Now let's look at the rotaries. Let's go. All right, so the rotary knob one, that's working. Two, three, four. Yep, five, six. Right, next, next. And each one of these seems to be working correctly. Okay. All right, so your rotaries. And the other cool thing about this is, even, see, we're on, a, we're on the Q-Link mode screen. If we, um, if we bring in a, let me, let me just do something real quick. Let me go to this program. If we bring in some samples, or if we brought, brought in a sample, all right so let's go to um i don't know why i didn't go on the pad but we're going to sample so we're, we're in the sample edit rep, uh, mode right now on the sample edit screen so now those q links i'm just going to try to give you an example of how the q links are working can work in another screen as well so i know we can listen we can listen to this loop right we can listen to it and we can also trim it using the q links so you see how the q links are working on the screen as well All right and we can also go to chop to the chop section we were just on the trim we can go to chop and we can slice this up real quick. And now we can use what you we can use. Let's go control bank A. And we can use the end, we can adjust the endpoints and the start points as well. You see that? So we can scroll in, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can adjust the start for each chop. We can adjust the start for each chop and the endpoints for each chop as well. So the cue links work. So there you go. So that's that's one way to, or I know I went through several things with you, but um, that was the way that I found um, to get around that limitation or that issue with with those pads double triggering. Um, if you all have any questions, you can put the questions in the um, in the comments below. I hope this helps you all. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.